My name is Dirk Dinshada, a gold certified technician at Porsche Center Oakville, and I've been working on Porsches for 16 years. I started in this industry in 1992. I actually uh, had no intention of uh, following the automotive trade. I uh, sort of fell into the job, so to speak, and it took me about a good six or seven years to realize that I loved it. It wasn't until 1999 uh, that I had an opportunity to uh, join Porsche. Ironically, I uh, was offered the job without knowing it. I uh, was asked if I knew of a good Porsche technician, to which I said no. Uh, and uh, when I realized they were asking me for a job, um, I was pretty excited. Uh, and I kind of haven't looked back since. The training that Porsche offered, uh, there were several courses, you had to do them. Uh, it took uh, several years to get all the courses. Um, and then once you got there, there was recognition from Porsche uh, on your achievements. Um, it's, a, it's a good system that they have now in order to distinguish the different levels of technicians. Uh, it's a tiered system uh, and it works really well in helping uh, the guys um, nurture the, 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 their abilities and, and lead them up into, uh, into top level technicians. This job, it can be a struggle sometimes. It is a tough job. Uh, it's very rewarding though when you do your job well. Uh, there is a, a remarkable reward to seeing a car, especially a classic, uh, come back to life and to, to see it almost have a rebirth. I, I've, uh, I've always had a bit of a curse where I can't stand to see something not shine. And so when I see a, a rough gem or I see something that needs a lot of attention, um, I love the challenge and I love trying to get it back into perfect form and, and almost exceed its original expectation and just uh, make it the wonderful thing that it is. Porsche is one of the few manufacturers that still has something like 70% of all cars on the road. So many of these cars, the classic cars as well, drive just as well as they did the day they rolled out of the showroom. Um, they, they hold their value, they, they still perform to the expectation uh, of what most people expect a Porsche to be. Uh, one of the things I love about classics in particular is it's very easy nowadays to find yourself behind the wheel of a brand new car. Uh, it takes a certain connoisseur or a certain appreciation uh, to get behind the wheel of a classic. A lot of the classic cars are a bit of a chore to drive. They're not, they don't have all the creature comforts that you would expect in today's uh, top line cars, but there's a, a feeling about it, a rawness, a, a, a connection to the car that really comes through. Ultimately, I, I challenge anybody to get behind the wheel of a classic and not smile.